I'm home. My name is Adora Delano. I'm 23 years old. And I'm a fucking Libra. Cunt, bitch, fuck, damn, shit, and ass are my favorite words to use. Hi, I'm a tour. Hi. From Azusa, I'll stab a bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Party. 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 Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all well today. I am so excited about this video today. This is a video that I have just been wanting to do and meaning to do for the longest time. And I was just like, do you know what? I am I'm I'm finally gonna do this video this week because it has been it has been too long. It's long, long overdue. So of course this tutorial is inspired by my Queen Adore Delano. I freaking love Adore Delano. Adore Delano is my favourite, favourite ever contestant from RuPaul's Drag Race. And if you guys are not new to my channel, then you will probably already be able to tell how Adore Delano basically inspires my makeup. Like, my makeup is very, very, very similar to Adore Delano's. And I remember when I first watched that season of Drag Race with her in, like, she pretty much just changed my life. Like, I just basically wanted to do my makeup like her every single day after I watched that. And I pretty much have, like, so yeah, I just, I freaking love okay. her. I am also gonna be creating looks by some of my other favorite queens as well. I don't know who to do next. I'm kind of stuck between Naomi Smalls or Farah, I just don't know, I'm, like the possibilities are just endless, I'm so excited. So this is actually the look that I recreated and it was so difficult, let me just tell you that right now because this is this is not a makeup photo, this is like, a, this is a selfie and I really couldn't see the makeup very well in this photo, all I could see was green and glitter and I was like yeah that'll do, I want to do that look, that, 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 that'll work and it, it, it just wasn't it was not that easy. But I think we made it work. I did also add the rhinestones as well. The rhinestones weren't originally part of the look, but Adore does rock a rhinestone every now and then, and I just thought that it would look, it would look, it would look bomb. I'm really excited about this video. So anyways, if you do like this video, please give a big thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well. Please let me know who you want me to do next as well. Leave me a comment. Let me know who, yeah, like who, who I should do next. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video as much as I have enjoyed creating it today. I've honestly had so much fun. I'm so inspired. I actually just kind of want to do a whole other drag inspired tutorial now. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and let's get into it. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a voiceover on today's video because I kind of needed to concentrate on what I was doing. So first of all, I'm gonna prime with my Urban Decay Eden Primer Potion, and I am gonna then move into my Jaclyn Hill palette, and I'm using this amazing kind of teal, greeny forest i don't even know how to explain this shade to be honest but i'm taking this shade and i'm going to start packing this on the outer corner and then bringing that into the lid i've started something new with my makeup recently and i'm basically just not using transition colors anymore i just kind of pack the color just straight onto the lid and then blend it out and it's actually really working so well for me so what i do is just take a clean brush which is what i'm doing just here and then i start blending out the edges and i just find that this way of applying your eyeshadow just gives you the most bright intense color i just i like this so much more than transition shades so all you need to do is just keep packing on the color and building up the color where you want it so whether that's on the lid or whether on the crease in this case we're packing it all over the crease and all in the lid as well and then you blend it out with a clean blending brush and just really work on those edges and you do get a really beautiful blend when you do this as well i just i'm just really really loving this technique at the moment so we are basically just applying this teal shade mainly in the crease and also on the lid as well but don't worry too much about the lid because we're going to go in with this deep 
forest green shade this is actually from my morphe 35b i really really hate mixing palettes and i really do try not to do that in my tutorials but i i don't have a palette that's got all of the green shades that i needed so i'm switching over to the morphe 35b to use this shade this shade is a lot more of a rich green than the green from the jaclyn hill palette that one's more of a teal green so we're using the forest green all over the lid to intensify and then what i'm going to do is just start gently blending out the crease some more and just making sure that that is perfectly smoked out so then I'm going to switch back over to the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using the black eyeshadow and I'm just building this up in the outer corner just to intensify the outer corner and darken that up a little bit and I'm just using a smaller blending brush to do this and what I do is just kind of use a patting motion to apply the black eyeshadow and then I go back in with the blending brush that I applied the green eyeshadow just to very very gently blend it out. With, I find that with black eyeshadow just apply a tiny bit at a time and then just work on blending it out rather than making it super intense first of all it's so much easier to add color than it is to take it away so just build up the black eyeshadow a tiny bit at a time and then use your clean blending brush to blend it out so then we're going to go in with this buxom coal black pencil eyeliner any pencil eyeliner you have will do and i'm going to apply this in the waterline and also smudge this in between all of my lower lashes and then just smudge all of that black eyeliner together so this is a sigma brush i'm not sure what brush this is i will list it down below for you but i'm just going to smoke out that black and then i'm going to use my little teeny tiny morphe blending brush i will also list that one down below as well and i'm going to go back in with both of the green shades i'm just going to kind of mix them both together and then just blend that over the top and just blend out that lower lash line and then we're going to apply a liquid liner so this is my black magic liner from Ico. This is very very similar to the Kat Von D tattoo liner however I do find that this one is a lot more matte so I've actually really really been enjoying this liner especially at the moment because I do like a matte black eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to be using some of the electric shade from the Subculture palette. Now that I look at this palette, I do kind of think you could use the forest green from the Subculture palette on the lid as well. But I'm just taking the electric shade and applying that on my inner corner. I did also dampen my brush there as well. And then I'm going to take some of my Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion and apply that on the inner corner as well. This is something extra. You don't really need to do that. I just thought it would look cute. And then I'm using this NYX green glitter and I'm basically using this as a base for the chunky glitter so I'm applying this over the top of the NYX glitter glue mainly on the inner corner of the lid and then just bringing it into the center of the lid and then I'm using this chunky green glitter to apply over the top all of these chunky glitters that I use I honestly find them all on eBay if you type in cosmetic chunky glitter on ebay you can find so many of them there are so many exactly the same as this one i can't find the exact seller of this glitter but i did check and there are tons that are pretty much identical to this one and then i am going to go ahead and apply some lashes so these are the lily lashes mykonos but they are the foam ink version i love these lashes so much they're so so gorgeous so dramatic and they're just amazing do also get these rhinestones from ebay as well if you type in craft shorofsky i can never say this word shorofsky crystals then tons of them come up as well i always order this kind of stuff from ebay and then we're going to move on to the skin so i'm going to prime my face today with my tarte brighter days moisturizer and then for foundation we are going to be going in with you guys have probably already guessed this is my favorite foundation it is the Too faced born this way foundation but i have gone up a shade my usual shade which is nude is a little bit too dark for me at the moment so today i'm using porcelain and as always i'm going to blend that out with my beauty blender a few of you guys have actually asked me how I blend foundation around my brows and my eyes. I do normally bring my eye primer out as far as I possibly can so it blends into my foundation. But 
you just have it's just practice and you just have to have a steady hand to be honest but if you do feel more comfortable doing your foundation first then by all means do that and for concealer today i'm using my tarte shape tape in the shade fair and then i'm going to go in with my milk makeup bronzing stick to bronze and contour as well and if like me you do also bronze and contour your jawline then make sure you blend your double chin as well girl and then to set everything i'm just using my kat von d translucent loose powder and as always i'm applying that with my damp beauty blender and then just kind of blending that into the skin this is just my favorite way of setting my makeup and then i am adding a powder bronzer today as well so i'm using my Too faced chocolate soleil I did also do a little bit of nose contouring today so I just used my bronzer and a clean blending brush and just basically followed from the inner corner of my brow down my nose and yeah I just kind of liked the way it looked really and then to highlight today I'm using my Ofra Beverly Hills little pinwheel highlight which is just my favourite ever and I'm using the bright white shade to highlight the brow bone and then for the lips I'm using Colourpop Tootsie lip liner which is kind of a grey nude and then I'm mixing Anastasia Beverly Hills sepia liquid lipstick with I think this one is called Chic or Holy Chic from Too Faced it's a really really pale nude and I'm basically applying more of the pale nude to the center of the lip as well and then I'm going to set everything with my Too Faced all nice. So this is the final look for you guys I really really hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial please leave a comment and let me know who I should do next in this series or just let me know who your favorite drag queen is as well because you know I want to know so yeah I hope that you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you guys on my next video Mwah.